In this video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional logic to show and hide elements in Bubble. Okay, so we've got uh, a main group here, which has text and our logo, and we have this element here, which is our main button. Now we're going to select the button and click Add Workflow. So Bubble starts us off with when the main button is clicked, and we're going to add a result. So we go to Element Actions, and we're going to Hide, and we're gonna select the element we want to hide, which is the main group. So now let's test it, and it works. When we click the hide button, it hides the main group. Okay, but how do we make the button show the group again? Well, we're gonna click here to add a new event, elements, and when an element is clicked. So what is that element? Well, it's the main button. So when the main button is clicked, what do we want it to do? Click on actions again, and this time we're gonna select show, and we're gonna show the main group. But when we test it, let's see what happens. Nothing happens. And that's where the logic comes in. So when we go to our hide workflow, we're gonna to go to only when the main group is visible. So we're only going to hide the group when the group is visible. And now we're going to click on the show workflow and we're only going to show the main group when the main group isn't visible. So now you can see the logic in action. It shows the group when it isn't visible and it hides it when it is visible. So now we're going to add conditional logic to change the text on the button. We go to the conditional tab and we say when the main group isn't visible, we're going to change the text to show. So now you can see the button changes from hide to show depending on whether the group is visible. 